I'm going to call a meeting to order. Please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Roll call, please. Member Steele? Here. Member Lyon Welch? Here. Member Frederick? Here. Member Lanford? What? Member Holbrook? Here. Member Dean? Here. Member Lake? Here. Thank you. Next we have the request for uh, public participation forms. Are there any other forms? Mr. DeBow, you're up. Okay. Uh, I'm Bill DeBow. I am the varsity softball head coach. Um, I was given an ultimatum at the end of June to either resign or be fired. And at first my selection was I'd probably resign and just go away quietly, but that's not like me. Um, so I've given it back to Todd to say that uh, I've given him a proposal, and I'll get to that. Um, this came as no warning to me. There has been no discretionary issues that I've had in six years. Uh, this was my sixth season. COVID was one of that, so out of the five years, um, I just received my 100th win, so I'm averaging 20 wins a season. So I thought I have been successful. Um, I've got two district titles. I've got a league title in five years. So I thought we were doing well and headed in the right direction. I had a lot of parent flag over the years. Um, haven't done anything that would require it. Um, obviously, record isn't anything. We've seen teams go over a season and no discretionary there. Uh, we have seen some issues with players dressing up uh, as uh, alcohol bottles, and nothing was done about that, and yet I still lose my job. Um, I was told that there were six girls that were not going to come back next season. Well, the way I looked at it, out of the 18 that I had in my one uh, team, we did not have a JV team last year due to lack of pitching and lack of uh, numbers. Um, out of those six, I came up with eight that probably are not going to play next year. Four of them are Haitians that just tried it to give us numbers and are not going to play again. Uh, I had two girls that one was kicked off the team, one is also uh, kicked off the team because of or excuse me, disciplinary issues, one also was ineligible the whole season. She will not be back. So there's six. Plus I had two more that uh, had never played before, decided to give it a shot. So I had more than six that were not going to return next year, but that was one of the reasons why I was being dismissed or headed in a new direction, as I was told. Uh, I was told that the girls don't do anything in practice. Every day that my daughter would come home from school, and I was asked, what did you learn in school today? And ultimately, I always heard the same thing every day, nothing. So when girls go home, what do they do in practice today? Obviously nothing. I thought I prepared my girls quite well, considering what talent we've had over the years. We had a 32-9 and nine season the previous season. This year was a little bit of struggle, but once again, we lacked pitching. We lacked the necessary goods to be as competitive as we were before. One of the girls that didn't come out was one of our star players. Her and her sister, neither of them played for me their senior year. Dad, Dad was one of the biggest proponents against me. I got the job over him. He's been the thorn in my side ever since. He's the one that sat me down and told me how bad a season we had after 32 wins. Um, out of the six years that I've been there, I've had four complaints directed towards me from uh, parents. Every one of those were uh, handled in, within a timely manner or immediately. This year, I had parents that were going behind my back and trying to get girls not to come out next season. That was all going on behind my back um, and it was told to me. Uh, I've had players obviously complaining, uh, but none of those were ever addressed to me. Um, everything I get is usually after the season and even up into September when I finally hear about how my season really went from a parent perspective. Um, I did have to address a parent who was belligerent yelling at me. The umpire said that he was going to kick this person out, but when he realized he was yelling at me, he decided to let it go. I addressed that at that uh, time. Um, I had a parent text me at 11.30 on Friday night, not unusual. I addressed that issue. Uh, she questioned my integrity, but obviously she doesn't know who I am because my integrity means everything to me. And if my name is on it, it's going to be of the best that I can do. Why do I coach? I don't do it because of me. I don't do it because of my family. My daughter still plays on the team. I thought we were headed in the right direction. My mantra is to make sure that these girls are being utmost uh, good citizens. And I'm trying to teach them what I know so that someday that they can be coaches themselves. Um, any decision that I've ever made has been for the greater good of the program. i made decisions that were probably not in the best interest of a certain person, but every one of those decisions I made were the greater good of our program to build up for the next season. 
You have about 30 seconds. Okay, I'm almost done. Um, I submitted a proposal to Mr. Farmer uh, to make changes in our coaching staff and to allow certain things uh, for building our program. Um, that was turned down, and so my question was, which direction are we truly headed? Thank you for your time. Thank you. Thank you very much. I saw that posting this week. Next, we have a building program presentation. Hi, my name is Courtney Rule. I'm the Director of Clinic Operations at ProMedica. Um, I'm here today to just give a little bit of update about our program. Um, last year, uh, I came to the meeting. Kristen introduced myself. Um, as you know, I, uh, Kristen has moved on to a different role, but I wanted to take an opportunity to introduce Carrie Doty. Um, she is our program manager over the School of Telemedicine program, and I'm over the grant itself. Um, a couple months ago, we met with both of the admin uh, the admin teams at the schools. Um, we kind of just went over um, any needs or concerns or what we could do moving forward, getting ready for the next school year. Um, when Kristen came and presented, we had just been awarded a new grant covering the middle school, making that a school wellness program, so a designation through the state where we can get, receive grant funds to help um, sustain the program. Um, with that, um, we provided an interagency agreement, which we already had that covered uh, the Coldwater High School um, grant. Um, so essentially, those are the same now. We ran them the same, but one was grant funded and the other one was not. So we have presented an interagency agreement, just an update to that, some verbiage to include the new, um, the new uh, grant that we received, um, which that we provided and we'll, we, um, I don't know if it was presented to the group, um, but we do um, want to motion to see if we can get that approved from this committee here. Um, also, just a quick staffing update. Um, we do have all of our nurses and all of our programs, but we are looking for social workers. As you know, um, mental health is at an all-time high, and um, social workers are at an all-time low. <laughs> so if you have any social workers, send them our way. Um, but we are looking for that. We've worked with ProMedica to up our wage scale, so we could be more competitive with that to try to obtain a social worker to meet the school's needs and the students' needs. Um, also, this year is our 10-year um, celebration, which is exciting. Um, one of the very first, well, the first in the state um, school wellness program was here in Coldwater. Um, so that's very exciting. It didn't start out as a school wellness program, but it turned into one over time. So I'm excited and proud that that is here in our community and in your guys' school. Um, we also have... Um, a unique opportunity for uh, another grant that we receive for each school. So we've been working with uh, those um, administrators at the school to get those implemented. Um, those can cover things. Um, we can use these grants funds as infrastructure, so we can use them for like brick and mortar, so we can build some things within the school, which normally that is not a lot of the grants. So we've been working with the school to see what can we can do to um, make improvements and what are the needs of the school so we can work together to accomplish that. But ultimately, I am here, again, to, I said, uh, we just updated our new um, interagency agreement. We drafted that up. Um, again, it doesn't change much. It just changes the verbiage in which now we have two school wellness programs, so agreements with the school to cover both of those. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Are they still... Uh Discussing their cases with the, the telemedicine is with the pediatrician? Yes. Yep. European and uh, Araboli? Uh, Dr. D. Uh, oh, Dr. Air, D. Yep, Dr. D is still here. So uh, they're still uh, presenting those with her and Dr. Cassis. And we have uh, hired a new nurse practitioner. Her name is Amanda Wilson. So oh. they are all the students in the school are seeing one of those three. All right. Thank you very much. Yeah. Any other questions? No? Uh, Thank well. you. Thank you. I don't want to answer for all. <laughs> I mean, I am the big dog, but you know. In what way? What? Big. <laughs> you don't have to say for the meeting if you, unless you're just dying to hear. Thank you. Okay. We really should. If I had one, we'd be out. Thank you. Thanks for coming, guys. Thank you. Uh, next, we have the approval of the agenda additions and deletions.
And we are going to delete the baseball? The recommendation for baseball uniforms, yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Next we have the appointment of the Executive Secretary of the Board. Hmm. Where is the Executive Secretary here? Board of Education may appoint an Executive Secretary of the Board. Main functions of this position are to record minutes of the board meetings and carry on clerical duties during the regular hours of the individual's workday for the Board of Education. Additionally, the Michigan State law requires that the Board of Education appoint a consolidated election coordinator. Be resolved, the Board of Education appoints Heather Harvey as the Executive Secretary of the Board at her current hourly rate, uh, inclusive of regular and special meetings and duties assigned outside regular clerical responsibilities for the 24-25 school year, effective July 8, 2024. Be it further resolved that Heather Harvey be deputized by the Secretary of the Board to carry on all the duties required of the Consolidated Election Coordinator for the school district, inclusive of the annual election and and any uh, special elections during the 2024-25 school year, effective July 8, 2024. Can you explain annual elections? If there's a special election for any reason, and then obviously the regular elections. Those are regular elections are every two years. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we've, we've had special elections depending right. on, yeah. Is there a motion? So mm -hmm. moved. Support. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes. <clears throat> Keep up with a good word. Next we have designation of depositories. Uh, under the provisions of the laws of the state of Michigan, including but not limited to Act Number 40 of Public Acts, um, school boards are required to designate depository or depositories wherein public funds, including taxes, collected shall be deposited. Be it resolved, the Board of Education approves the designation of depositories resolution design, designating where the public funds collected, including taxes, shall be deposited as presented herein. Uh, a roll call. First, I need a motion. So, any discussion? Roll call. Member Lean? Yes. Member Holbrook? Yes. Member Lyon Welch? Yes. Member Steele? Yes. Member Frederick? Yes. Member Lanford? Yes. Member Lake? Yes. Motion passes. Next, we have the resolution authorizing signatures on checks issued by the school district for the 2024 25 fiscal year. Uh, that the board president, superintendent, chief financial officer are authorized to sign checks from the following accounts, the debt retirement, building and site, uh, general fund, operating accounts, school lunch fund, payroll checking account, petty cash checking account, flexible spending account, preschool fund, the elementary school activity accounts, like middle school activity accounts, cold water high school activity account, athletic activity account, 2018 capital fund budget, project budget, uh, also that the Chief Financial Officer, the Athletic Director, and only in emergencies, the Secretary, the Athletic Director, uh, may sign checks from the Athletic Officials account, that the Superintendent and Chief Financial Officer are authorized to sign checks from the following account, the 2018 Bond Construction Fund, be it further resolved that the Superintendent, Chief Financial Officer, Payroll Manager, be authorized to transfer money from the General Fund account to the payroll account for payroll costs be it further resolved, the superintendent and chief financial officer be authorized to transfer money between accounts. Is there a motion? So moved. So, Support. Any discussion? Roll call. Member Holbrook? Yes. Member Steele? Yes. Member Dean? Yes. Member Lanford? Yes. Member Lyon Welch? Yes. Member Frederick? Yes. Member Lake? Yes. Motion passes. Next, we have the resolution providing for the holding of regular meetings and service of notice of special meetings. The board is required by law to annually update by bylaws concerning the holding of both regular and special meetings. Be it resolved that the Board of Education approves the attached resolution providing for the holding of regular meetings and a service of notice of special meetings for the 2024-25 fiscal year. Is there a motion? So moved. 
support. Any discussion? We moved three of the dates because of holidays, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Spring yeah, break. and the August is the first day. No, that's not the first day of school, right? That's a week later? It's a week Correct. Later, yeah. yeah. Perfect. Now I lost my place. Have we had a motion yet? Yes. Yeah. Okay. I think it's got to be a roll call. Yes. Member Lyon Welch? Yes. Member Frederick? Yes. Member Lanford? Yep. Yeah. Member Holbrook? Yes. Member Steele? Yes. Member Dean? Yes. Member Lake? Yes. Motion passes. Next, we have the, the uh, public and closed meetings of the Board of Education. And the Board of Education, for the purpose of discussing strategy for negotiations with the Coldwater Education Association and other labor units throughout the negotiation process, may hold strategic strategy sessions in closed meetings. This would not preclude discussions and negotiations in open meetings, but it allows the board to hold closed session discussions where it's desirable to do so. Be it resolved that the Board of Education resolves to abide by Public Acts 261 as amended by the public and closed meetings of the Board of Education and for the purpose of discovering, uh, discussing strategy for negotiations with the various labor units throughout the negotiation process, hold strategy sessions in closed meetings, and all other purposes as authorized by the Public Meetings Act where it is desirable to do so. Is there a motion? So moved. Second. Is there support? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes. Next we have the appointment of legal firms and legal consultants. Being resolved, the Board of Education uh, retains the firms of Trunk Law Firm, PC of Lansing, Michigan, and Miller Johnson of Grand Rapids, Michigan, and a local law firm deemed appropriate by the superintendent for legal services related to the 2024-25 school year. Is there a motion? So moved. Support. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion passes. Next, we have the approval of the minutes from uh, whenever it was, June 24th. Is there a motion? Support. Any discussion? Heather, you got it all right. Apparently, I didn't hear from Dr. Lambert, so. Uh, <laughs> you were in Belize or wherever. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes. Next, we have the consent agenda. We have personnel recommendations. Mr. Flynn. Uh, relative to certified staff recommendations, the Board of Education approved the administrative recommendation to employ Sarah Newbecker as Lakeland Elementary School principal, effective the 2024-2025 school year. Can Penny you please stand? Thank you very much. <laughs> yes. Mr. Steele, Mrs. Frederick, Thanks, Mr. Holbrook. Nice to meet you. And we have met. Sarah. Yes, we have. <laughs> I'm Eddie Lake. This guy's the superintendent. I know this guy. Hello. Hi, Sarah. I'm Eddie. Nice to meet you. Do I get to call you Eddie? Yeah. <laughs> you can call me anything you want. Thank you. You may go on. I'm sorry. The Board of Education approved the administrative recommendation to employ Steve Buckland as the elementary PE teacher for Jefferson and Lakeland Elementary's effective 24 25 school year pending background check. And that the Board of Education approve the administrative recommendation to employ Gail Rogers as fifth grade teacher for Lakeland Elementary, effective 24-25 school year pending background check. And the Board of Education accept with regret the resignation of Trenton Schindorf, social studies and PE teacher at Lake Middle School, effective August 11, 2024. Well, that's a mighty short report for you. It's only Dr. Lanford, you're up with the... Accounts. We are resolved that the following accounts for June be approved for payment as follows. General fund accounts in the amount of $2,902,080.97 and special revenue accounts in the amount of $268,647.04. So there. That is the consent agenda. Is there a motion to approve? So moved. Second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion passes. Next we have uh, discussion items. Any? I don't have any. No? All right. You want to talk about the pool? I have a little bit about it in the, in yeah, the, the superintendent. superintendent report. Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, well, that's not on here. 
Aren't you up? Well, I guess it can be then. We'll make it a discussion item. Um, we'll go ahead and do my report now. Good. <laughs> um, it's since we last uh, saw each other a couple of weeks ago, we began contract negotiations with the CESPA group. Um, just met last week and are meeting again this week. Uh, it, sh it should go quickly, we're hoping. Um, our new website went live on July 1st. Uh, we're still under construction a little bit and learning how to best uh, utilize it and, and get as much information on there as we can and get the building principles trained to be able to put uh, items on as well. And we'll begin with the promotion of our new website next week. There's an actual rollout plan that they provide to us. <clears throat> and then regarding the Aquatic Center, we're continuing to have conversations with the city and, and with others. We met with, uh, the mayor and I met with Coldwater Township last week to uh, discuss some opportunities and some ideas. Um, but really what this has done, what this conversation has done, is really created an opportunity for a strategic plan for improvement of operations and long-term maintenance needs. It, it seems like this has gotten the ball rolling. So we're forming a committee and we'll be giving regular updates on that as well. All right. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Next we have the action items. A uh, recommendation to approve the agreement and addendum for school-based health services with Prometica Coldwater Regional Center of the Branch County. Since November of 2013, Coldwater Community Schools and the Prometica Coldwater Regional Health Center of Branch County have maintained an agreement for school health services. The new agreement uh, for the period of January 19, 2024 through June 30th of 2026. Be resolved that the Board of Education approve the agreement and the addendum through June of 20, June 30th of 2026 with the Prometica Coldwater Regional Hospital and the Branch County for school-based health services at Coldwater High School and Lake Middle School as presented. Is there a motion? So moved. Support. Okay. <clears throat> Any discussion? Roll call. Member Lanford? Yes. Member Dean? Yes. Member Steele? Yes. Member Frederick? Yes. Member Holbrook? Yes. Member Lyon Welch? Yes. Member Lake? Yes. Motion passes. Recommendation to approve the Xerox Purchase Agreement for the Lake Middle School Copier. In September of 2023, the administration reviewed the lease agreements for the copiers and printers in the district as many of the lease agreements were expiring. The decision was made and approved by the board at the September 25th board meeting to move away from leasing copiers and directly purchasing as this was a cost-saving measure. Be it resolved, the Board of Education approved the purchase of a new Xerox copier for Lake Middle School through the business impressions for the total purchase amount of $16,626 as presented. Is there a motion? So moved. Support. Any discussion? Roll call. Member Dean? Yes. Member Holbrook? Yes. Member Lyon Welch? Yes. Member Steele? Yes. Member Frederick? Yes. Member Lanford? Yes. Yeah. Member Lake? Yes. Motion passes. Next we have, we do not have it. Mm -hmm. uh, announcements and comments. The next regular meeting of the Board of Education has been approved to be held on August 26, 2024 at the Administrative Office Building. Are we done? Yeah. Okay, we're adjourned.